You. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah, he's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations. Here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks! I thought you was gonna handle that! We'll dis discuss this elsewhere. Get up! Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. I have to try it for myself. But is that all? That's it. So yes, I saw that on my way through Hartford. Terrible fire. Hey, he won't come. His wife's gone in the labor. Last I saw him, he was running in circles, full tilt, with staring eyes and an idiot grin across his face. What are you looking at, half breed? You not understand English, that it? Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Please don't hurt me! So if you have anyone who gets too close though, his sister's still his little angel. Just go away! So, remember what we did obviously? Yes, we did. Var, Scarlatti and Pergolesi. So rare to receive anything these days. It's a miracle my brother got them through to us. He'd have a hard time getting through to that one. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Well then, I'm a pessimist. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Well, used to be. So as to ensure a supply of tall oaks for one neighbor. Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Excellent. He learned his craft from a Spaniard of all things. The Spaniard was doing in the colonies back then, as anybody guessed. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me.
I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? Not the same since George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. It took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done.